All right, welcome back. We're going to look at solving trig equations here. So this this tends to confuse a lot of kids, at least the the way it is at the the way these they look at the beginning. Um, so I'm going to try to make it as simple as I can for these few examples. So let's read the directions. It says solve for x on the interval zero to two pi. So we have an equation and we're solving for x. So th that means that you know our final answer is going to be x equals. And it's important to notice or to take note of like what what is x going to be? Is it going to be like, a, especially when you're talking about trig functions, is it going to be a ratio or an angle? Well, because we're doing sine of x, sine, you know, tangent of x, not the inverses, that means x is going to be an angle. So there are there is some angle or angles that when I plug it into the to x and, and sort of simplify it, I get 0. So our goal is to find out what that angle or angles are. So before I do that, I want to just sort of draw your attention to the structure of this equation and I want you to notice that it's actually not as complicated as you think. First of all, everything's everything here is being multiplied. So there's no like there's no plus in between here. There's no plus. So that means like it's root three times tangent of x times sine of x minus sine of x. So really what we have going on is something that looks like this. Square root of three and I'm going to, you know, because of, you know, tangent of x, you know, it's it's one whole thing, but I'm going to call it like a, just for now, to make you see how you sort of know what to do as a first step. I want to call that like an a. And then my tan, uh, my my sine of x, I'm going to call that like a b. So it's like root 3 times a times b minus, and sine of x was my, my b, so it's like minus b equals 0. So this is like the, you know, this this would be like an algebra 2 or something version of this problem. So how do we solve this for in algebra 2? Well, you factor. right? We got it set equal to 0. Uh, we factor. So how do we factor? Well, we can take out a b. So when we take out a b, we get b times square root of 3 times a minus 1, right? Think about distributing that back. You get a, you get a b. Okay, so now if I were to solve, if I was supposed to solve this for a and b, then this means that b equals zero, or root three times a minus one equals zero, which means that if you add one to both sides and then divide by root three, we get a equals one over root three, right? So if this was the algebra, if this problem was algebra two, and this was an a and a b instead of a tan x and a sine x, we'd be done here, right? B equals zero and a equals one over root three. But notice what I really did was I, I, you know, if we're going to solve this problem, all I did was I called my tangent of x a, and I called my sine of x b simply to make it look a little easier for you to to understand, and then we did all this, and we found that a equals, right, uh, b equals 0, but that just means sine of x equals 0. And tan of, uh, a equals 1 over root 3, but since I a was really tangent of x, that means that tangent of x equals 1 over root 3. So just doing the, like, the simple algebra, meaning the factoring out and everything, it brought us to this, but we need to solve for x. And so now I have, to, I have to solve this trig equation. So it's like this is where the trigonometry comes in in this problem. All, all this stuff we just did here, it was just algebra, right? We, we just factored out. We basically, we factored out a sine of x because there's a sine of x in both of them. We factored that out, with, right? That's like our b. And then we set, you know, set each piece equal to 0 and solved. But because our a's and b's were actually trig functions themselves, we have to keep going. So let's deal with the top one. Tangent of x equals 1 over root 3. Well, we all know how to do this. That means uh, that's a positive ratio. So that means that I'm going to draw my triangles here. All right, tangent's positive in that quadrant, and it's also positive in this quadrant. And definition of tan is opposite over adjacent which means that this angle right here, or one of our answers, 
is uh, pi over 6, right, 30 degrees. And then the other one is, well, let's look at the other triangle. This, since tangent is uh, opposite over adjacent, that must be a negative 1, that must be a negative 3, and that's a 2. And so the other angle is this one, which is 7 pi over 6. So those answers, those are the ones that came from this guy. And then the other piece that's producing answers is sine of x equals 0. Well, where does sine of x equals 0? If we look at our, our unit circle, sine of x equals 0 uh, at 0 and at and at pi, right? So the other two answers are 0 and pi. Okay, so once you get the factoring done, that's when you do the trick. Let's look at another example. I've got 2 sine squared minus 1 equals 0. So let's let's follow our example above. To make this look a little easier and make it like look more like algebra, let's call A sine of x. So then this problem becomes 2A squared minus 1 equals 0. And if you solve, you get 2A squared equals 1. And then when you divide by 2, you get a squared equals 1 half. And then when you square root, you take the plus and minus version of the square roots. You get a equals plus or minus the square root of 1 half, which is square root of 1 over the square root of 2, which is plus or minus, and the square root of 1 is 1. So plus or minus root 2, uh, 1 over root 2. So this, this means that a equals plus or minus 1 over root 2, but remember we called a sine of x. So this really translates to sine of x equals plus or minus 1 over root 2. So that means two things. That means sine of x equals 1 over root 2 and minus 1 over root 2. So we want all the answers that all the x values that when you take the sine of them, you get 1 over root 2 or negative 1 over root 2. So, so let's just deal with the positives. Sine of x is plus 1 over root 2. Well, it's sine positive in these quadrants, these two. And by definition of sine, that's the 1, and that's the root 2. That's the 1, and that's a 1, and that's a root 2, right? So our First two answers are going to be this angle, which is, oops, that angle, and then also that angle, and then also that angle. And that first angle is pi over 4, because that's a 45, 45, 90. The next angle is 3 pi over 4. And my other two are going to come from the bottom two quadrants, right? Because that's where sine of x is equal to negative 1 over root 2. So all these answers, basically all the 45, 45, 90s. So that's a negative 1, that's a root 2. It's a negative 1, that's a root 2. So the other two angles are going to be that one, which is 5 pi over 4. Here, I'm going to write my answers up here. we got pi over 4. 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and then the last one comes from this guy, 7 pi over 4. There are the answers. Those are all the angles, and if I plug them into this, it's a true statement.